cozy tight. Rose has a story for tonight. Hello, little ones, and welcome to Storytime with the Beavers. Today's story is Charles and the Glowing Acorn Adventure. Let's get to it, shall we? In the nook of the woods, where the tall maples grow, lived Charles the beaver and his folks down below. Mama and Papa, they loved him so dear, and together they grinned from ear to ear. One Chris Autumn day, while they packed up a stash, Charles tripped on a leaf and fell with a crash. Under the leaf, his little paw tapped, a crinkly old treasure map, slightly unwrapped. Oh, Mama, oh, Papa, look what I found, Charles squeaked with a hop and a bounce all around. It was faded and tethered, but plain as day was a big, bold X, and a path marked the way. Yo-ho, crackled Papa, and adventure awaits, and soon they were off through the tree-shaped gates. Over bridges and boulders and rivers that roar, Charles led the way while his parents explored. But, oh, in the forest... There lurked a raccoon rascal, who thought to himself, I'll give him a hassle. He snuck and he scurried and pounced with great flair. But Charles was too quick and he hopped out of there. They wove through the trees in the foggy thick wood, where Mama said, just follow the scent, like we should. Just sniff for the pine, it will lead us up top. On we shall march without a pit stop. At last, on the peak, the X came in view. They began to dig, and oh, what they drew. A chest of wonders and sparkly and bright, with treasures and jewels that gleamed in the light. And in the center, what did they spy? A magical acorn, or oh my, oh my. It shimmered and sparkled in colors galore, a treasure that legends had spoke of before. Mama held it up high with sparkle and cheer. It's the glowing acorn of fortune, my dear. All for all the forest its kindness will be, and maple wood sh will shine like a dream. With glitters and cheers, they made their way back through the foggy old trails and an woodsy old track. They found not just treasure, but love to the brim, for Charles and his family a Mars my fearless whim. And so Maplewood sparkled, so very bright, thanks to Charles and his parents who brought them in the light. I hope you all enjoyed the story tonight, and I hope you all have a wondrous and marvelous and magical dream. Good night, everyone.